Hello, I am Venkatesh, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I am going to show you how to troubleshoot connectivity issues to your load balancer. Let's get started. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the EC2 console. Then select load balancers in the navigation pane. For this discussion, I have created an external load balancer which has listener configured on port 80. The load balancer should be listening to the port that the client is attempting to connect to. If you are planning to use any port other than port 80, please make sure that you have the listener configured for that specific port. Next, ensure that the load balancer security group is allowing traffic for the configured port. Since this is an external load balancer, I have allowed access to the world. If you are using an internal load balancer, your security group rules must allow the IPs of the clients on the relevant listener port. Verify that the load balancer can communicate with the backend instances. Your backend security group must allow traffic from the load balancer subnets on both the listener and the health check ports. Here, I have allowed all traffic from the VPC of the load balancer. Navigate to the VPC console and ensure that the network ACLs of your VPC allow traffic in both directions on the listener port and the health check port for each subnet attached to the load balancer. Now, let's check the network ACLs attached to the subnets. You can see that I have allowed all traffic in both inbound and outbound rules. Also, make sure that the route tables attached to the subnets of the load balancer have a default route pointing to the internet gateway. Here, you can see that I have an internet gateway pointing to 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 which is necessary for the load balancer to receive and direct the traffic back to the client over the internet. Finally, test the connectivity to your load balancer using Telnet. You can see that we have now established connection to the load balancer successfully. Additionally, if the connectivity issues are sporadic, this may be an indication of capacity related or load related issues. For more information about troubleshooting load related issues, please follow the link provided in the Knowledge Center article. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.